Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to review a, a filament from Matter Hackers, that is uh, Pro Series PLA. I bought this filament uh, on their Black Friday sale uh, last year and got this filament among with some others I wanted to try out. And I wanted to do a review of this filament uh, as I've done with the build series PLA. For full disclosure, I bought this filament with my own money and, and Matter Hackers didn't contact me or, or ask me for anything in return for this review. So my opinions on the filament are totally my own and they had no influence on my thoughts. So let's have a look after the intro. <laughs> So this filament is a PLA uh, from their Pro series from matterhackers.com and I bought uh, red filament and also the midnight blue. The red spool is on the printer uh, printing right now so I don't have this spool in hand but it comes in a, a sealed bag with a, with a black s spool and it's a, just a pretty simple uh, spool with uh, holes but you can see uh, the amount of filament through so that's a nice feature of this pool so I like that and it, it comes uh, just in this wrap so it's a pretty standard packaging for, for filament so this filament is uh, recommended to print at 205 degrees plus minus 15 degrees and I decided to try it out first with 210 degrees and got pretty good results with that temperature so I stuck with that. Actually the first print I did was uh, the Angus Christmas tree torture and it came out pretty good. Uh, I had uh, s a small uh, issues uh, underneath uh, parts of the print. For most part it came out quite, quite good and there was like a, a little bit of drooping on the most, most difficult part of the print but other than that the print came out really well and I printed this before I, I printed out the temp tower because I really believed in this filament and others have gotten great results for this filament so this came out great and I'm really happy with this uh, first print with this filament even though you can see underneath uh, this one difficult location and there's a little bit of drooping but uh, for uh, this torture test it's a quite difficult spot so it's uh, very common to have an issue like that on this print. The next print I did was a temperature tower and the, the same uh, results there. It came out pretty good on all temperatures. There was a, a, a strange uh, thread issue that you can see here. I don't know what happened here. Uh, some threads uh, didn't go through but uh, other than that it is very strong and very difficult to break i can't even break this now with my hands so i managed to break it at uh, the lower end of the temperature but you know the recommended temperature it's just too strong for me to break so layer adhesion is is excellent on this filament but i, I don't know what happened here with with those strings I haven't got those on other prints test with other filaments and, and I'm not sure if it was the G-code or, or what caused this but I guess maybe the G-code uh, got some issues, it was very strange. I then printed out the tolerance tests and they all came loose and the tightest one maybe has uh, a little bit closer range but it still it just came out of the bed of, of the bed and it was was no issues with tolerances i printed out the string tests and initially i had uh, c-hop enabled in my usual uh, pla settings and there was a little bit of stringing but not too much and I then printed out without C-Hop and got absolutely no stringing. So there was excellent results uh, in this sample print. So as you can see the towers are per 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 perfect. Uh, I then uh, printed out uh, a bridging test and in the longest bridge there was one line that got uh, loose from the main body uh, but other than that it came out pretty good. It was maybe a little bit too hot 
for this bridge uh, at, at the 210 degrees. So I didn't try to print this at a lower temperature, but I guess this is just a cooling issue and uh, temperature issue that can be tuned better. I also printed out uh, an overhang test that has uh, 30 and 45 and 60 and 70 degrees and it came out very good and only on the 75 degrees there is a small uh, small difference in texture but uh, in the 60 degrees it's just a minor defect on the texture and perfect on on 45 degrees so it's uh, came out really good i then printed out uh, my maker coin and the letters that are very small uh, came out perfect. There was uh, absolutely no issues and, and the look and shine of the filament is, is excellent and the maker cone came out pretty much perfect. It was there's no issues with this print and I'm very happy with this uh, filament. I also uh, tested out a, a Benchy and uh, that came out perfect. There was absolutely no issues. And as you can see, that's very smooth and, and there's no uh, defects uh, anywhere in the print. And, and it's uh, one of the best benches I've, I've done, I think. So uh, the quality of this filament is, is excellent and, and the consistency of, of the extrusions are, are good because normally if the ex ex filament is different in extrusion width, you can see see it on the slopes that they are in consist consistent, but uh, this came out really good and it's pretty much perfect benchy. I uh, then uh, started to print out uh, some objects uh, for my son's uh, confirmation that is happening this year, and uh, this is the Icelandic word uh, Ferming for the event and the date, and uh, this was the first design and the letters were really small. Uh, I changed the design uh, over to, to this design uh, with his name and, and the date of the event and I printed out 50 of those items and they came out great. So uh, printing those uh, objects with this filament uh, gave me excellent results in all uh, aspects and, and I didn't have, have the need to try uh, printing out men more example prints. Uh, this is one of the prints I did that is in the it's a filament guide piece that's in my printer box and this was just a test test piece. It's not I stopped the print mid print but this is just a, a sample of what I did and the, the bottom layer is is perfect. As you can see it's very shiny and I post a picture of this on, on Twitter. It's uh, excellent uh, bottom layer and the strength of this uh, filament and layer adhesion is, is very very good so I'm really happy with this filament. So those were the test prints I did with this filament. So this was my review of uh, Matter Hackers Pro Series PLA. Uh, overall the, the print quality and, and the printing temperature range I experienced with is giving very good result. It was very forgiving on the different temperatures and and uh, very strong layer adhesion even, even at the lower temperatures so uh, it's very easy to dial in the accuracy of the prints and the uh, negative and positive tolerance tests i did came out excellent uh, the torture test came out very good and and all the all the prints are in very good uh, shape so all the testing i did on this filament just came out pretty much excellent and there's no complaints i had about this filament it is a little bit more expensive than the build series pla but it's more forgiving on temperature and it's much stronger filament obviously i tested to break uh, the filament when I did the, the build series filament and I had to dial in temperature pretty good to get a good layer adhesion for that filament but this filament has good layer adhesion at pretty much any of the temperatures I tested so uh, this filament is obviously there's some magic ingredient I have in this filament compared to the build series so if you need reliable PLA prints and uh, with good dimensional accuracies I would highly recommend this filament and that's my my own thoughts on, on this 
filament. I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, that I purchased the extra roll of the filament in uh, other colors. So I'm going to use this filament for parts that I have to look nice and uh, have strength. So this will be my conclusion. I highly recommend this filament and I will leave a link to the Matter Hackers website so you can check out the color options they have. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that, it's just a normal web link. And uh, I hope you like this video and uh, please press the like or dislike button and leave your comments and, and subscribe and, and let me know what you think of this review. If, if you find something interesting or you don't have the same experience as I had with this filament. So I would like to know if others are happy with this filament as well. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.